And now the rope climb. This thing murdered me last time. We'll see if it's gonna murder me today. The No Fate Channel, checking in post Boston Fenway Spartan Stadium Series race. And I'm just doing a quick sit wrap to tell you about my experience. As far as breakfast goes, I just had a normal, probably heavy breakfast of oatmeal, almond butter, and egg whites. So in terms of hydration post-race, I just used my NutriBio IntraBlast. This is a carbohydrate-free uh, intra-workout that just gives you the EAA, sodium, potassium, magnesium, all the good stuff you're gonna need for the race. I just made one of these bad boys up and downed it um, about an hour before the race. As far as footwear, I actually use these Reeboks. These are actually uh, my brand new shoes. I've got these, I've had these for like almost six months now. And this is the second race I've run in them. Really good. Obviously a, a stadium series, there's no mud, there's no water, there's no issues, it's just concrete. So these were able to grab the um, concrete very, very well. And I was able to hang on to any obstacles without issue. As far as the course itself, it was slightly wet. Typically with these stadium series, they're completely dry. We've gotten like a few inches of rain over the past couple of days and obviously the ground was wet. So those the stairs for the stadium series was slippery. As far as the course itself, really good. I don't think it was three miles. I think it was under three miles. It just felt fast. I think my time overall was 48 minutes plus, like 48.57, something like that. Um, I had an earlier heat before things kind of got busy and picked up. Clearly with a lot of pinch points because of the stairs, I could see that later in the day, it could be very difficult, especially trying to pass people. A few people passed me and they had difficulty just in terms of two people side by side. So when the race gets busy, I could see that it could get become very much of a funnel. As far as the obstacles, they did a really good job of putting a lot of obstacles back to back to back. So it was like a good amount of running, three or four obstacles, and then you had another good amount of running, three or four obstacles, and then a whole bunch of stairs, three or four obstacles, and boom, you were at the finish line. Again, I do think it was a shorter race than in 2019 when I ran this. Weather-wise, it was perfect. It was above freezing. In 2019, it was not only below freezing, but it was absolutely so windy that I could, my hands were like stark white. So this, this year I didn't have to wear gloves, I didn't have to wear any of that. I was able to just stay warm and had a good time. Bag check was outside and they had like an internal bag check, but you had to be able to basically fit everything into like a plastic bag um, just because those are the stadium rules. As far as um, the obstacles, man, they did a really good job of just doing fun, fun obstacles. All the fun ones except for the burpee. That was probably the hardest one overall in terms of endurance was that like weighted burpees at the very end. That thing was brutal. <laughs> I did skip the spare throw. Apparently I found out afterwards at the end when I was trying to get my photo taken that there was a spare throw and I missed it. It was right before the rings and apparently it wasn't marked well because the guy that I spoke with said it was not marked well and he didn't blame me for missing it. Although I do feel bad and slightly ashamed that I missed such a big obstacle. Don't know how I could miss something that big. As far as the sticker, the sticker made it through the entire race and I did have a blast. These stadium series are really good where they put all the obstacles, very little running, and you don't get wet, you don't get cold, and it's overall just the best of the, the Spartan race experience, the obstacle course race experience. Um, Post-race, they did have a number of um, vendors. Compared to 2019, they probably had a third compared to 2019, but obviously because of COVID and whatnot, I was not surprised to see less vendors this year than in previous years, but they still had a good amount of vendors outside. Big disappointment was that post-race beer. They were supposed to give you like a Mike Hart seltzer at the end at game on. And game on was closed. Now, obviously it's super early in the morning here, so maybe they weren't gonna open until 10 a.m. But the reality is I still wanted my post-race beer, so that was a bit of a letdown. Uh, we'll have to settle for a post-race energy drink.
As far as injuries go, I think I went through the whole thing unscathed. The only issue that I did have <clears throat> was on the rings. There was a few sections on the rings where I literally lost my grip and was holding on by one hand. And I think I kind of tweaked my elbow and I know it's gonna be sore later and probably even more sore tomorrow morning. But overall, compared to how it feels right now, not too bad considering some of the damage you could do in an obstacle course race. The metal as usual, the metal as usual was, is really nice. I, they really do a good job with these metals, making them double-sided with the little wedge as well. The shirt, I have to take a harder look at the shirt. It seemed okay. It seemed like your typical gray Spartan race shirt. The 2019 Spartan uh, Stadium Series did seem to pop a lot more, at least from first glance. So hopefully uh, this one, when I get a better look at it, will be as good as expected. But overall, a fun day, beautiful weather, great experience, fun camaraderie among a lot of the racers. The only letdown was that post-race Mike Hard's seltzer lemonade thing that I was supposed to get, but didn't. Hope you guys found this video informative. If you came this far, give it a like, hit that, hit that subscribe button. My birthday is actually one week from today. And so if you wanna give me an early birthday present, just hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and it helps out the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. If you made it to the end of this video, we are now officially best friends. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. Yeah, I couldn't get my legs hooked in. That was all arms, but better than last time. We got it. <laughs>